<laughs> there we go. You know, we were ready to start our lives as a family and Josiah was doing great and he was meeting his medical milestones. He was a little late to walk, but once he mastered that, it was kind of like, whew, that was close. It's every first time parents dream bringing a healthy baby into a happy home. And Joe and Tani Cullen were overjoyed to welcome baby Josiah into their family. Obviously when you have a child, you gain this love for this child. The couple embraced their new role as mom and dad, and for nearly two years, Josiah's behavior was typical. But at 22 months, it was as though a light switch was turned off. He began to really shift dramatically over about a period of three weeks. Uh, we started losing eye contact. He started losing the words that he had, words like mama and dada and banana and things like that. Precious words, you know. Four months later, doctors diagnosed Josiah with autism. Throughout the years, the Cullens tried a dozen treatments, but nothing seemed to help. They made this video of Josiah as a baby, now a reminder of a more hopeful time. In 2010, after seeing a documentary called A Mother's Courage, Tani learned about the rapid prompting method where children with autism can communicate using an iPad. Josiah, unable to speak for most of his life, finally had a voice. I had the iPad up. It has alphabetical letters and big buttons across. And he ends up pressing the letter G. And I thought, oh, he's missing it. And he goes on to spell his first ever independent sentence, God is a good gift giver. And it was that moment that was shocking that changed everything. Many of Josiah's writings, all done using the rapid prompting method, are filled with stories of God, wisdom, and faith. <coughs> Tani says Josiah asked her why she didn't share them on Facebook, and so she started Josiah's Fire in 2013, which led to Josiah's Fire, the book. We realized, you know what? this might be an opportunity to share a testimony that could really bring hope to people. And that's why we decided to write the book. Tani says the feedback she's received from around the world has been overwhelming. Although she intended the book to be for parents of kids with autism, it has touched a broader audience with a message of faith and hope. At no school today. Huh? She hopes, too, it will open people's minds about the minds of nonverbal children. They're there. They may not be able to show on the outside everything that's going on, on the inside, but that doesn't mean we can't keep reaching toward them.